Hello, you are welcome to solve this math problem, which is 16 power of sine square x plus 16 power of cos square x is equal to 10. To find the values of x from this math problem, so that x is between 0 degree to 90 degree. Now, in the first step, from here we have sine square x and cos square x. So, we'll start with trigonometric rule, which is sine square x plus cos square x is equal to 1. Then, in the next step, we'll let, let's say, u is equal to this, which is sine square x. So, from this rule, it will be u, so u then plus this cos square x is equal to 1. Then, we we'll make cos square x the subject, so it will be cos square x is equal to 1. This u will take to this side, so it will be minus u. So, from here, we have sine square x, which is u, and cos square x is 1 minus u. So, we'll substitute into this our problem. So, 16 power of sine square x, it will be 16 power of sine square x, we let as u. So, it will be 16 power of u, then plus 16 power of cos square x. It will be 16 power of cos square x, it is this, 1 minus u is equal to, this here is equal to 10. Then, in the next step, it will be 16 power of u plus 16 power of 1 minus u. This here is in the form of exponential rule, which is a power of m minus n is equal to a power of m over a power of n. So, from this rule here, we'll apply this form. Then, it will be 16 power of 1, which is 16 over 16 power of u. So, 16 power of u is equal to this 10. Then, in the next step, we'll remove this denominator of 16 power of u by multiplying the whole equation times 16 power of u. So, it will be 16 power of u times 16 power of u. So, here, it will be 16 power of u square, bracket square, then plus here 16 power of u times 16 over 16 power of u. This and this will cancel, so it will be plus this 16 is equal to 10 times 16 power of u. So it's equal to 10 times 16 power of u. Then in the next step, from here, 16 power of u, it is common. So we will let again, let's say t is equal to 16 power of u. So our equation will be t square. So here t square plus this 16 is equal to 10 times 16 power of u is t. So 10, it will be 10 t. Then we take this 10 t to the left side so as to make a quadratic equation. So it will be this, which is t square. 10 t will take this side to be minus 10 t. Then plus this 16 is equal to 0. Then from this quadratic equation, it can be solved by grouping and factorization. Because we have the product. Product, it is this 16. And sum, sum is coefficient of t, which is negative 10. So, from this 16, it is the product of negative 8 as our factor times negative 2. Negative 8 times negative 2 is positive 16 is equal to the sum is negative 8 plus negative 2. So, we'll use these two factors, negative 8 and negative 2. So, we'll split this negative 10t. So, from this quadratic equation, it will be t square negative 10, it will be negative 8t, negative 2t, then plus this 16 is equal to 0. So, from here, t is common. So, we'll take t out of bracket. t squared divided by t, it is t. Negative 8t divided by t is negative 8 bracket. Then, from here, 
we'll take negative 2 out of bracket. Negative 2t divided by negative 2, it is t. 16 divided by negative 2 is negative 8, bracket is equal to 0. Then from here, t minus 8 is common. So we'll take t minus 8 out of bracket. Then this here, divided by t minus 8, it is t. This divided by t minus 8, it is this negative 2, bracket is equal to 0. Now from here we have two solutions, where this first solution, t minus 8 is equal to 0, and this second solution, t minus 2 is equal to 0. Then from this first solution, we'll take negative 8 to this side, so it will be t is equal to 8. And here we'll take negative 2 to this side, it will be t is equal to 2. Then we recall, before we let t here, t we let t, it is the 16 power of u. So from t, t is equal to 16 power of u. Then we'll compare, from here, we'll compare these two equations. So it will be 16 power of u is equal to 8. So from the first solution, 16 power of u is equal to 8 and from the second solution t is 16 power of u so here it will be 16 power of u is equal to 2 so 16 power of u is equal to 2 then from here we make 12 base of 2 16 is same as 2 power of 4 then bracket this power of u is equal to 8 8 is same as 2 power of 3 so it will be 2 power of 4 times u is 4u is equal to 2 power of 3. Then from here we have same base of 2, so I'll compare these powers. So it will be this, which is 4u is equal to 3. Then we divide by 4 in both sides. So this and this will cancel, then it will be u is equal to 3 over 4. Then from this second solution here, Second solution to get u to get the value of u, 16 is same as 2 power of 4. Then bracket this power of u is equal to 2, which is same as 2 power of 1. So it will be 2 power of 4 times u is 4 u is equal to 2 power of 1. So from here we have same base of 2, so we'll compare these powers. So it will be 4 u is equal to 1. Then we divide by 4 in both sides. So this and this will cancel, then it will be u is equal to 1 over 4. So from here, we already get, the, we already get these two values of u. We are supposed to get the value of x. Then we recall again. So we recall, before we let u is equal to, into here the first step, after this quadratic key, no, sorry, this trigonometric equation here we let u it is sine square x so here it will be u is sine square x then we we'll compare these two equations so it will be this which is sine square x is equal to this 3 over 4 and from here u is equal to sine square x then we compare these two equations, so it will be this, which is sine square x is equal to this 1 over 4. Then in the next step, to remove these squares here, we'll apply square root in both sides. So this square root will cancel square, then it will be sine x is equal to square root of 3 over square root of 4 it is 2 and from here we'll apply square root in both sides so this square root will cancel square then it will be sine x is equal to square root of 1 it is 1 over square root of 4 is 2 so from here we already get sine sine x is equal to this sine x is equal to this now we'll draw a triangle like so as to get the value of x from trigonometric triangle so from here it 
will be like this this angle here it is 30 this angle it is 60 here it is 90 180 triangle now from here this here this here it is 1 this here it is square root of 3 this it is 2 from the rule of a square Pythagoras theorem plus b square is equal to c square because 1 square it is 1 square root of 3 square it is 3 so 1 plus 3 it will be 4 now square root of 4 it is this 2 now from here sine x sine x from sine is equal to opposite over hypotenuse now opposite opposite from here from here sine x is equal to 1 over 2 opposite opposite of sine 30 sine 30 is equal to sine 30 degree for this side here second solution sine 30 it will be opposite it is 1 hypotenuse is 2 so it will be sine 30 it is 1 over 2 and from here sine of 60 so from this first solution sine of 60 degree is equal to sine of 60 opposite is square root of 3 hypotenuse it is this 2 so we can see here sign we have x when we compare x here it is 60 x here is 30 because x x is from 0 degree to 90 degree now from here 30 and 60 is between 0 to 90 degree so values of x is equal to 30 degree and 60 degree so this is our final answer now let's check this solution if it is correct we'll check for 30 so we'll check for x is equal to 30 degree now from our problem which is 16 power of sine square x x it is 30 so to be sine square of 30 degree plus 16 power of cos square x is 30 degree is it equal to 10 so it will be 16 sine square sine of 30 sine, sine of 30 it is a half so it will be a half square it is 1 over 4 plus 16 cos of 30 cos of 30 here sine of 30 it is a half cos of 30 adjacent is square root of 3 hypotenuse is 2 so it will be square root of 3 over 2 then bracket square is equal to 10 here we already take the square of a half which is 1 over 4 so it will be from here 16 is same as 2 power 4 then bracket this power of 1 over 4 plus 16 is same as 2 power of 4 then bracket here Squ square root of 3 square it is 3 over 2 square is 4 is it equal to this 10 so this and this will cancel so it will be 2 plus this and this will cancel so 2 power 3 2 power 3 it is 8 is equal to 10 now you can see left side and right side are equal because 2 plus 8 is 10 so it is true for the value of x is equal to 30 you can check for the value of x is equal to 60 Thank you for watching, don't forget these steps to miss out, subscribe to my channel and see you in the next video, bye bye.